Welcome to Witchy Wednesday, where we are all going to pretend that that doesn't say the intro, and I'm never going to change it because I'm lazy. Um, so today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite uh, witchy apps that I have. I have them kind of hidden off to the side here because um, I, you know, do a lot of work with clients and they see my phone, so it's better just to hide them. Um, we're going to start with Golden Thread Tarot. I don't know if you guys know of the Golden Thread Tarot deck. It's absolutely exquisite. I fully recommend you get it or look it up or just take a look at it. Um, but this is their app um, and it's kind of like a, just a virtual version of their deck, which is fantastic. Really allows, allows you to kind of learn more about tarot in general. There's the deck down there, it's beautiful. Um, you can do daily draws, you can ask questions, it's fantastic. It includes a really good comprehensive description of the cards, um, uh, what it's related to, the pentacles. Um, it's just, it's a really, in depth, you can save it, you can save the image, you can export it. It's a really in depth um, app and it's fantastic. I use it almost every day. Um, and like you can see here, you can go through all the, the cards and what their meanings are. Uh, it's really helped me to kind of learn about um, tarot in general, which has been nice. Yeah, it's beautiful though. So the next one is more of a fun one than anything. It's called Ghost Radar. It's really not very serious. I mean, it can be if you wanted to kind of like work with some enchantments and stuff, but the the idea is that it it can, uh, you can adjust the sensitivity and it can pick up um, electromagnetic fields and that kind of thing and translate them into words and locations. Like you can see at the top, California. It really is just a for fun sort of thing, but I enjoy it. So there you go. It's part of my little repertoire. Uh, so the next one is Mighty Timer because witches love their tea. It really is just a timer uh, for a whole bunch of different tea types and the temperatures. You can sort them by category. It's fantastic. Really, really, really helpful, especially if you're as into tea as I am. Just a fun, cute little app. Uh, the next one is Pendulum Light. It has a whole bunch of pendulum charts that I find super, super useful. Um, I should mention too, all of these apps, except for the one at the end, which I'll talk about when I get there, are free. So I use a lot of the light versions, not the full versions, just because I don't have that kind of money. Um, but as you can see, there's a couple of really good uh, pendulum charts in there that you can use. Uh, this one's fun. This one is a new one to me. Um, and it's basically like a tarot course. So you have to go through all of these, study, take tests. Um, I'm still exploring it. I'm still kind of trying to figure it out myself. Uh, but I just thought I'd kind of pass this one along because it's interesting. It's interesting to be able to treat it like a school course instead of just um, kind of an idle fascination. And it'll be um, just based on the, the setup and the format. I think it'll be a lot easier for me to learn this way, which is kind of nice. Um, go through a time, one at a time here. Um, it's part of a larger app. So it's Brainscape, I think, has a bunch of different topics and stuff. So yeah, that one's pretty fantastic. Um, the next one we're going to get into is by far... Um, my favorite. No, oh, not the moon app. That's not what I meant. Uh, stone. It is so pretty. <laughs> Look at how pretty it is. Oh god, I love it. Um, what stone does is it, it has a whole compendium of crystals that you can kind of go through and look up their, um, metaphysical meaning. And it, it's, <laughs> I just love the, um, the tone of it too. So you see that um, chrysopra uh, chrysoprase, you know, is about transformation, balance, joy, and then the write-up is just hilarious. It's so fun and pretty and <laughs> just my exact aesthetic. So it's really, uh, it's really been an enjoyable app for me. And I like that it's categorized by visuals. Um, not everyone might like that, but it does have a search bar at the top, so that's good. Um, poor Moon, I'll get to you. <laughs> no, why, why did I do that? Okay. <laughs> Jeez. The next one is Sky View. So this one's really fun. Um, it finds your location. No, nope. no, no. Finds your location for you and then uh, you can kind of move it around. It works with your camera. Shows you where planets are, constellations. As you can see, the space station's there, where all the different stars are. It's really cool. It's obviously more fun at night. But um, yeah, it's a really good one to be able to orient yourself with your uh, your night sky and to, um, uh, that was Gemini, I think. Yeah. Anyways, it's, it's a lot of fun. This one is just very basic. It is what it is. Um, I spent um, all together too much. 
I don't even think I can blow it out now. Hold on. <sighs> okay, no. It's not working. Anyways, <laughs> it's just a candle. You can change the colors. Um, it's really good for on-the-go spells. If you can't, or, you know, if you're in a place where you can't light candles, it's fantastic for that. I mean, it's just, it's a good visual representation of a candle. That's the long and the short of it. There's not much else to it, but I really like it. We're finally at Moon! Hi, Moon! Again, this is a very simple but very beautiful app, and it literally, um... It is what it is. It shows you the moon and its phase, um, when the next full moon is, when the new moon is, and I think um, I've gotten a few notifications as to different lunar events as well, which has been nice. The last one, Herbal Magic, is actually the one, um, oh, there we go, is the one that I had paid for, and that was $1.39, so it wasn't too bad, and that's Canadian. It's a really thorough um, compendium of herbs, and they're correspondence in magic, which I really, really appreciate. So I like being able to see um, what the various herbs mean and what they mean for my spells. Um, I like that I can search. So it's got a search bar. I can look up specific herbs that I have in mind and see what their correspondences are. Just really fantastic app all around. Really enjoyable. Um, it was worth $1.39 to be totally honest with you. And that's it. That's, uh, those are all my witchy apps. I will include the names of them in the description and that way you can get to downloading some too. If you do download them and you enjoy them, let me know because, um, I really like to hear about other people's experiences using these apps. And yeah, thanks for sticking around with me. Sorry we missed last week. I wasn't doing too well. If you follow Instagram, I kind of messed up my neck, which is just great. Just super fun. <laughs> but I'm back at it again and uh, yeah that's about it it's hard to do a voiceover guys it's really hard I don't know how people who do podcasts do it anyways love y'all talk to you later